In this video, I'm going to show you 10 Google search tricks which will make your life much simpler. And I've given the timestamps in the description so you can check it out. So without wasting more time, let's get straight into it. So when you search for something on Google, you get millions of results. As you can see, by just searching FIFA, I've got these many results. But let's say I want to narrow it down to Messi winning. What you can do is use quotation marks. So how this works is that whatever you type in the quotation marks, that has to be there in the search results which they show. So I've typed Messi winning and now in every result which they show, Messi winning will be written. As you can see, it's written in all of these articles and the number of results has drastically gone down. So this is an effective way to narrow down your search results and get exactly what you're searching for. The next operator is the asterisk operator, which is similar to quotation marks. So in quotation marks, whatever phrase is inside, exactly that will be searched. So for example here, messy winning will be searched as it is. But let's say you want to search for something, but you're unsure of the phrase. For example, the lyrics of a song. Then what you can do is put an asterisk inside the quotes. So now, instead of keeping messy winning together inside a phrase, even if there are other words, I'll still get the search result. And here, you can see the results, where it's showing messy ended up winning, or messy for winning. Basically, some words are added instead of the asterisks. The next operator is in title, and even this helps you narrow down your results. So how this operator works is that whichever phrase you put with in title, then all of your results will have that phrase in the title. You have to type in title colon and then I can just type messy winning. And here, if you see the results, all of the titles have messy winning or messy wins written in the title. And what you can do is use two operators simultaneously. So I can use the quotation marks and in title together. So if I put Barcelona in double quotes, then it won't give results related to FIFA, rather all of them will be related to Barcelona. As you can see, it still has Messi wins in the title, but it also has Barcelona inside the article. The next feature is one which I find really useful, especially if you are a student, and this is file type. So using this operator, you can filter out the results based on the file type. So if I type FIFA schedule, but I want this as a PDF. Then I can type file type colon PDF. As you can see, all of the results over here are PDFs. And the same way you can change this. So if I want docs, I can just type that. And now all of the results are documents. The next feature is similar to file type, but in this, you filter out the results based on the extension. So if you want a .gov file or a .edu file, you can do that using this operator. I'll show you how it works. Again, I'll use FIFA as an example. And then I'll type site colon .gov. So now all of the results will be from government websites which are related to FIFA. And as you can see, that's what we've got. The next operator is the minus operator. And what this does is that if you want to remove some phrase from the results. So if I just search for FIFA, as you can see, almost all articles are related to Argentina or France. So let's say I want to remove Argentina from the search results. Then I can type FIFA minus Argentina. And now as you can see, none of the results over here are related to Argentina. The next trick is extremely simple but useful, and that's using the search bar for simple arithmetic. So if I want to know 70 into 90, I can type that in and the result will come here. The same way you can add, subtract, divide, and all of the results will come over here. Then another thing you can do is use the search bar for conversions. So if you want to convert currency or any units like weight or anything, then what you can do is just type that in on top. So if I put 20 USD, as you can see, it's converted it to Indian rupee 
and it's come here. So the same way, I can do this to convert kg to pounds. I can just type 5 kg to LBS and the result has come here. Now, another thing you can do is filter results based on date. So when you search for something, you'll find an option called tools that's over here. So just click on it and then you can filter the results based on date and time. So these are all of the options they have. And if you want a custom range, you can select that and manually enter the dates over here. So I've put past hour and as you can see, all the results are within one hour. And now the last trick is tools when you're searching for images. So again, when you search for images, you get tons of results. But tools is an effective way to narrow it down. So just click on tools and two of them, which I find really useful are size and type. So if you want a picture of good quality, you can change the size to large. And let's say you want a GIF. Then just select type and click on GIF. So now it'll only show me GIFs which are of a large size and good quality. So these are basically all of the tricks. And if you want to know five Chrome extensions which everyone should use, then check out this video over here. That's it for today. Goodbye.